I'd like to introduce you to Connie, my <laughs> wife, who does pottery here. And I'd like to introduce you to Bob, and he does metal work and sculpture. We've been together for since 1978. Eight. Well, I'm always amazed at how well he draws. Like, he, he can just draw anything. So his books are filled with sketches, and, and it's just so exciting like, to see him inventing something just on a piece of paper. And then, just for example, the gate at the Saskatoon farm, when he did that, he called me into the room and he said, you have to see this. This is way bigger than we thought it was going to be. And so I went in, and here's this horse horse is just the head or the legs and they were like you know like seven feet already right feet high. so it's just exciting to see things develop I, li I love to see what comes out of his studio but he has some uh, beautiful boxes like this what do you call that one that has a soft that's the Nautilus box the Nautilus box right I love the way that he's developed a different technique that it, it seems softer, it's not as hard edge. And the colors, I love the patinas that he's using, the copper patinas. Those are really beautiful. I just have to keep my eye on him because I never know what he's going to be designing or making. What I love about Connie's work, like she's worked really hard, harder than anybody I know. Uh, overall, you're developing glazes. Like glazing is the most critical and important part of doing clay work. And uh, when people do clay work as a hobby or whatever, they never ever even get to that part. And that's the most important part. And so developing glazes that work, that, that fit, that, that don't crawl and craze and mark and scratch is really difficult. And Connie has just been exemplary at doing that. And uh, her newest work with the, um, the printing method she's using is just quite extraordinary, you know. And it's come out of her own, you know, background and development. And it's just quite amazing. And so I love watching to see what, what's new, what's like coming out of the kiln. You know, it's always kind of like Christmas, kind of to see what's happening around here.